friends and very welcome to my youtube channel today we're going to talk about the best travel tips we have ever received let's get started never stay in hostels first of all they're too cheap like you don't want to save money second of all you meet really cool people thirdly they have really good pub crawls and discounted activities. You're gonna have other people who can help you take photos, so you're not gonna be that selfie whore that gets stuck on their own everywhere. Do you want a thousand selfies at the Eiffel Tower? Or do you want a few photos taken by your new friends with great tips? Eat next to the most famous building in town. Yes, always eat next to the most famous building in town. You're gonna to spend a lot of money. There's gonna be huge waiting lines because there's a lot of other amazing tourists who are just there for the day that are gonna try and get in front of you. Definitely eat there. And hey, the best view of any famous building is so close that you actually can't see it. So definitely spend the extra money and eat right next to it. In your face. Good food. Happy face. Confused face. Angry face. Happy face. <laughs> So next up on the agenda Let's have a chat about street food Never ever try street food Thoughts? In some Asian countries, street food is a big part of the culture Be very careful of the uh, chicken donuts A lot of tourists don't know what it is And it's just like, uh, like crisps You pull them out and nom 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 Turns out it's just deep fried chicken's bum holes Extra flavour so be careful, do your research, and don't be scared to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Use only tourist buses and transport for tourists. Absolutely. Costs more money for starters. And you're going to be more comfortable. And you're going to miss out on the authenticity. But uh, to be honest though, try a bit of the local stuff. You're going to see some crazy things like people bringing chickens on buses. You're not going to see that kind of stuff on tourist buses. And uh, in some places, Egypt, for example, don't take the tourist buses. They are generally fairly prone for terrorist attacks. Who are the terrorist target? Travelers. The terrorists are always going to go for the tourist buses. Take the local buses, stay safe. If we talk about India, it's better to use AC class, as otherwise it's too noisy and also you can experience some sexual harassment. So be careful traveling in India. Put love locks on every bridge that you'll see. If you're a solo traveler, you can definitely put love locks on every bridge. Put your initials and carry a whole bunch of love locks with you in your bag. And don't forget to put a signature on every single wall you're gonna see. Great way to spend your time, absolutely. Love locks or headlocks, your choice. What do you say? Complain when no one speaks English. Pardon? No hablo inglés. Uh, por favor en español, por favor. That's all. I mean, come on. We all travel to experience new culture. If you're gonna complain that no one speaks English, Get a job, get a life, go home. Don't leave your home country. That simple. Don't fart in front of uh, other people. But yeah, it's always good to learn some of the basics of the other language. It is polite. I mean, we've all been that person in our home country when uh, people come over and they try to speak your language. It's very good. It makes you want to try harder to help them. Next worst tip would be start all the sentences with in my country like honestly if you want to start with uh start with that if that's your opening line every time you're going to be perceived as a real douchebag you're not going to make friends and you should just stay in your own country we travel to experience new culture new religion new beliefs new ideologies not to in my country open up your mind open up your heart really really vibe what you're in if you're going to continue with in my country, you're not going to get anywhere and your experience is going to be extremely diminished. It's just not worth it. 
Always book one year in advance. That one's gonna be completely up to the individual. Nowadays with coronavirus, you have to book a lot more spontaneously. You might book a flight today for a year in advance, have it canceled, have the stopovers changed. But really, there are a lot of spontaneous people out there that love to book a trip and leave immediately and just wing it. So do what makes you comfortable, try it both ways, but always incorporate some level of spontaneousness to your trip. It's gonna be way more fun. If you meticulously plan out every step of the way, you're gonna be stuck to a regimented schedule. If you can just wing a few aspects of it, you're gonna be stuck in the moment, completely embracing the, the love of travel. That's what I like to do and that's what I suggest you do. Thank you very much for watching our video guys. Please put like, dislike and share in comments what was the worst travel advice you've ever received and I'm gonna see you next week.